So on Monday, the 20th of June, 2022, Jagex released a series of notes into the game as a bit of a teaser for the upcoming Legacy of Zamorak season of content, which will take place over the next couple of months, and it will include a new boss, a rework of the wilderness, new quests, and a whole bunch of other content. Since these notes add a bit of lore, I feel it's within my remit to kind of talk about them, so let's get started. The first note you can find is the Crumpled Note, which is dropped by Monks of Zamorak and kind of just outlines the thought processes of those that follow Zamorak. It says, The hour draws near, and the end of the blasphemous reign of Saradomen with it. For too long this world has endured the cold prison of his lies. For too long have the Saradominist priesthood meddled in the affairs of everyday citizens. No longer. Even now our lord prepares to unleash a force unlike any other upon this world, a glorious army of chaos that will wipe clean the stagnant blasphemies of Saradomen. Rejoice, for the hour is at hand, and a new age dawns, the Age of Zamorak. I kinda like this one, it's a bit um, overdramatic, <laughs> I'll say, but you know, the person clearly loves Zamorak, and so what can you do? He's very passionate, passion isn't a bad thing. The next one is the Elegant Note, which is dropped by Dagon High Monks, and it reads, Dear Geoffrey, I hope this letter finds you well and that you are in good spirits. We all miss you. I know you feel you need to leave on this spiritual journey of self-discovery, but did you need to leave us all behind to do so? Mother has been very worried about you. She wants to know that you're eating right and that you're getting enough sleep. You know how she frets about these things. Listen, something strange is going on. I've been hearing whispers and rumours about some sort of terrible power growing in the shadows. They say Zamorak is preparing to do something terrible. I know you've got some friends who like to talk up Zamorak, so I don't want you getting into any kind of danger. Anyway, I won't keep you. Your niece misses you and wants you to come over for dinner sometime. I promise I won't cook. Love, your big sister, Cat. This note illustrates, at least to me anyway, how Zamorakian followers aren't always monsters or demons or witches, they're just guys named Jeffrey who have mothers that fuss them about taking care of themselves and sisters that suck at cooking. Just regular, normal dudes who tend to believe that a chaotic world is a better one. The third is the Burnt Note, which is dropped by Greater Demons of the Wilderness, and speaks about some of the packs, bonds, and contracts that Zamorak's demons have made with the humans of Gilanor in order to mutually boost their magical abilities. It also adds an in-universe reason for the slivers, which will drop from the upcoming boss and can be used to upgrade weaponry. It says, A pact is power, such has always been our way. We bind ourselves with ancient rites and crippling constraints, and in exchange for our suffering we go stronger. We had fought these bargains unique to ourselves, part of being a demon, but we were short-sighted. The witches of Zamorak have shown us that they, too, can gain power from these packs. They have forged contracts with us, and in doing so we have feasted on the suffering they feel, offering our gifts in return. Remarkable their endurance. Before now, I had considered humans to be weak and frail things, but how wrong I was. Furthermore, when our magic and theirs combines, it can coalesce into something unique. By striking a bargain with a witch and sealing it in the blood of both human and demon, we achieve an effect as yet unseen. The blood seems to transform into something crystalline in nature, a solid sliver of magical power. It might sound like nothing of note, after all humans have their runes, but these slivers are capable of unlocking the power hidden in our weapons, unleashing their terrible, destructive potential. With such combined power, this world will surely fall when Zamorak brings his grand army forth. None can stand against us. The fourth, then, is a mysterious note dropped by a Zamorakian mage. It's a love letter to a husband, Lee, from his wife, Lillian. She is unfulfilled being just a mage's wife and lusts for more power, so decides to join her sisterhood to gain this power she feels she deserves. Striving for more is a very Zamorakian trait, so it absolutely makes sense that his followers would take the same stance as he once did. It reads, Dearest Lee, I have hidden in your shadow too long. I love being your wife, but being only your wife has never been enough for me. I see the things you are researching, you and your fellow mages. I see the power you wield, the destruction you can cause, and it fills me with a deep envy. Day by day, it poisons my love for you. But there is another way. 
I have joined a sisterhood of women who crave the power that we deserve. Their methods may be different to yours, but the wisdom they offer is undeniable. Finally, I stand as your equal and our love may blossom anew. Once more, we will feel the fiery passion we felt on our wedding day. My darling, let us burn this world together and dance in the flames. Yours eternally, Lillian. The final piece of new lore is the Bloodstained Note, which details an ex-Temple Knight who, having grown tired of Saradoman's status quo, defects to the Black Knights. He talks about how Zamorak will bring change and upheaval. It speaks to the leftist angsty teenage anarchist in myself, and this of all of these notes is my favourite. It reads... It feels strange to wear this armour, almost like a betrayal. For so long I wore the white armour of Falador and wielded a sword in the name of Saradomen. Yet here I am, and I am not ashamed. Saradomen has come to this world, and what has he done with it? Are the sick healed? Are the fields ever verdant? Is death and suffering banished from this world? No. It's as if nothing has changed. Nothing. Or Zamorak promises change, he promises rebellion, upheaval, and revolution, progress instead of stagnation. Unlike Saradoman, he will fight beside us. We will stride out across the battlefield together, and we will remake this world into something new. We will tear down the old establishment, the nobility, and those born to unearned wealth. We will break society's chains, and we will start a new world together, a better world. That is why I wear this armour, and I am not ashamed. And that is all of the new information we have. I love these little updates and bits of world building. It adds so much to the game and really gives it this vibe of being a lived in, breathing place. I've been running a Dungeons and Dragons game for years now and little tidbits like the ones introduced here are one of my favorite ways of increasing investment in the world. You have your grand adventures with impossible heroes triumphing over evil, but you also have people like Lillian who are unhappy with their lot in life and want more or the unnamed knight who has grown disenfranchised with the world as is and wishes to see it burn to the ground. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you learned anything, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment saying which one of these notes was your favourite and why. I've been Vimoria, thank you for watching.